So this here is my long elevator position indicator that I got from the Keener Garage in St. Louis. A while ago, I made a video about wiring and cleaning up this piece. At the time, I did not really feel like adding any sort of input system to it, so I ended up making just a cycle system with an Arduino. It simply makes the indicator go from street to eight and back down the street. Now that's pretty cool, but there's really no way to control this indicator. There's no interaction with it. You just turn it on and it starts working. So in this project, I am upgrading the system. I came up with a new idea that I wanted to test out and I figured that this long panel would be the perfect test subject. I recently acquired a new microcontroller that has built-in Wi-Fi capabilities. And my thought was I could use a phone-based app to control the indicator. So I wanted to experiment with this and see if I could make it work because I have a fairly interesting idea that I might want to try to implement in the future. So as for the new hardware, I'm building a custom circuit board to hold the microcontroller and some other components, and in general, just make everything easier to hook up. I implemented the switch to power on the entire circuit and then added wires to hook up to the existing wires that I had from the old system. And in the end, I am real happy with how the hardware came out. Now the next step is to do the programming, which is the bulk of this project. So after a few hours of programming and testing, this indicator is ready to go. I'm using one of these rechargeable battery packs to power the indicator. Using a regular battery would not be a good idea for this because this thing uses a lot of power. It takes just a few seconds to power on and initialize, and now it's ready to go. So connecting to the device will allow you to control it. And this here is the app that I built. Now it doesn't look very pretty. This is the very first website I've actually coded by hand. So it's just really basic. I do want to improve the graphics of this at some point, but this is just a proof of concept. On the top, there's the title followed by a digital indicator and then all of the floor buttons, which are color coded just like the indicator. Pushing one of them will input a floor command. So if I press eight, you will see that the indicator responds by moving up to eight. Both the physical indicator and the digital PI on the app update at the same time. This software does support multiple floor commands. However, it will simply serve each floor in the order that it's pressed. There's no sort of selective collective system or anything like that. That's something I could add in the future. So I am quite pleased with how this turned out considering this was just an experiment. I definitely want to expand upon this system in the future and implement it into some more projects. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next project.